the Mongolian Steppe, a vast expanse of rolling grasslands that stretches as far as the eye can see. It is a place of raw beauty and untamed wilderness, where the horizon seems to blend seamlessly with the sky. Vast, windswept, brutal. The wind howls through the tall grasses carrying with it the stories of those who have come before. This land is both a cradle and a crucible shaping those who dare to call it home. Imagine a land where survival is a victory, where tribes clash for dominance. Here the nomadic tribes live and die by the strength of their horses and the sharpness of their blades. Every day is a battle, every night a test of endurance. A land shrouded in whispers of a coming storm. Dark clouds gather on the horizon, a harbinger of the turmoil that is to come. The air is thick with anticipation, as if the very earth is holding its breath. This is where our story begins, not with a roar, but a whisper. As dawn breaks over the steppe, the first light of day reveals a world on the brink of change. It is a calm morning but beneath the surface, forces are stirring. The year is 1162, a time of great upheaval and uncertainty. The world is a different place yet the struggles and triumphs of humanity remain the same. A boy is born under a sky full of stars. His birth is unremarkable to all but his family, yet the stars seem to shine a little brighter that night, as if they know the significance of this new life. His destiny, to conquer and unite. From a young age he shows a determination and strength that sets him apart. He trains with a bow and arrow, his eyes always on the horizon, dreaming of a future where he will lead his people. His name will be whispered in fear, then awe, Genghis Khan. He will become a legend, a figure of immense power and influence. But legends are not born, they are made through trials and tribulations. But before the conquests, before the empire, he was Temujin, a boy on the brink of manhood. He faced challenges that would have broken lesser souls, yet he persevered. His journey from a boy named Temujin to the great Genghis Khan is a story of resilience, ambition, and the unyielding spirit of the Mongolian steppe. Temujin's world was one of shifting alliances and constant threat. Imagine a life where loyalty is tested daily and power is earned through strength and cunning. His father, a chieftain, was betrayed, leaving young Temujin and his family to fight for survival. These early hardships forged Temujin into a survivor, a leader. He learned the art of war, the importance of loyalty, and the power of unity. He dreamed of a united Mongolia, free from internal strife, a force to be reckoned with. Life on the steppe was a harsh teacher. Temujin faced betrayal, imprisonment, and countless battles. He lost friends, family, even wives to the brutal reality of tribal warfare, but each challenge strengthened his resolve. His charisma and his vision attracted followers. These weren't just warriors but skilled strategists, loyal companions and future generals who recognized his potential. Together they would change the course of history. Forget lumbering armies and cumbersome sieges. The Mongols were masters of mobility and surprise. Their weapon of choice? The composite bow, deadly accurate and capable of piercing armor at a distance. Their cavalry, unmatched in speed and agility, could appear from nowhere, unleash a storm of arrows and vanish just as quickly. Genghis Khan, a master of logistics and strategy, used these tactics to devastating effect. Section 5, Unity or the Sword. Genghis Khan understood that a divided enemy was easily conquered. He exploited rivalries between tribes, offering them a simple choice, join him or face annihilation. Many, tired of endless conflict, chose unity under his banner. He broke down traditional social barriers, promoting individuals based on merit, not lineage. This meritocratic system fostered loyalty and ensured that the most capable rose to the top, regardless of their background. Section 6. The Mongol Horde on the Move By 1219 Genghis Khan had united the Mongol tribes. This unification was no small feat as the Mongol tribes were known for their fierce independence and internal rivalries. Genghis Khan, originally named Temujin, used a combination of diplomacy, strategic marriages and sheer military prowess to bring these tribes under one banner. With the tribes united, he set his sights on a grander stage, the world beyond the steppe. The vast open plains of Mongolia had been their home, but now, the Mongol horde was ready to venture into new territories, driven by a vision of conquest and expansion. His armies, now a disciplined and unstoppable force, swept across Asia. The Mongol cavalry, renowned for their speed and endurance, became the backbone of his military campaigns. 
They could cover vast distances in a short time, striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. As they moved, they left a trail of both conquest and cultural exchange. The Mongols were not just ruthless conquerors, they were also facilitators of trade and cultural interaction. They connected the East and West, allowing for the exchange of goods, ideas, and technologies. From the Khwarazmian Empire to the borders of Europe, their influence was felt far and wide. The Khwarazmian Empire, once a powerful state, crumbled under the might of the Mongol onslaught. The Mongols' reach extended to the very edges of Europe, where they were both feared and respected. Genghis Khan's name became synonymous with both terror and grudging respect. His reputation as a formidable leader and strategist spread across continents. While many feared his wrath, others admired his ability to lead and his vision for a united empire. His empire, stretching from the Pacific Ocean to Eastern Europe, was a testament to his ambition and military genius. The sheer size of the Mongol Empire was unprecedented, covering diverse landscapes and cultures. It became the largest contiguous land empire in history. This vast empire was not just a collection of conquered lands. It was a network of trade routes, cultural exchanges, and administrative innovations that left a lasting legacy on the world. Section 7, Beyond the Battlefield Genghis Khan was more than just a conqueror. He was a shrewd administrator, a lawgiver, and a patron of the arts. He established a unified legal code, the Yasa, which promoted religious tolerance and social order. He understood the importance of trade, encouraging the Silk Road's revival and fostering cultural exchange between East and West. He even implemented a postal system, allowing for communication across his vast empire. Section 8, A Legacy Carved in Stone. Genghis Khan died in 1227, but his empire, under his successors, continued to expand. His death marked the end of an era, but it was far from the end of the Mongol influence. The empire he founded continued to grow, reaching its zenith under the leadership of his descendants. They carried forward his vision, pushing the boundaries of their dominion further and further. His descendants ruled over a vast territory, leaving their mark on the cultural and genetic landscape of Asia and beyond. The Mongol Empire, at its height, was the largest contiguous land empire in history, stretching from the Pacific Ocean in the east to the heart of Europe in the west. This vast expanse facilitated the exchange of ideas, technologies, and cultures, creating a unique blend that would shape the future of many regions. His story serves as a testament to the power of leadership, ambition, and the human capacity for both great good and terrible destruction. Genghis Khan's military strategies and administrative policies were revolutionary, allowing him to conquer and govern such a vast territory. However, his campaigns were also marked by immense brutality and destruction, leaving a legacy that is both admired and feared. He remains a complex and controversial figure, revered as a national hero in Mongolia and viewed with a mixture of awe and fear in the West. In Mongolia he is celebrated for uniting the Mongol tribes and establishing a powerful empire. His legacy is honored through monuments, festivals, and national pride. In contrast, in many other parts of the world he is remembered for the devastation his conquests brought. This duality makes Genghis Khan a fascinating figure in history, embodying the extremes of human potential. Section 9. The Khan's Shadow. Genghis Khan's impact reverberates through history. He reshaped the map of Asia, sparked cultural exchange, and left behind an empire that stretched from sea to shining sea. His military innovations influenced warfare for centuries. But his legacy is not without its shadows. His conquests were brutal, resulting in countless deaths and the destruction of entire cities. His story is a reminder that progress and unification often come at a steep price. Section 10, Debunking the Myths. History is written by the victors, and Genghis Khan's story is no exception. He's often portrayed as a ruthless barbarian, a bloodthirsty tyrant. But the truth, as always, is more nuanced. While his conquests were undoubtedly brutal, he was also known for his pragmatism, his religious tolerance, and his support of meritocracy. He valued loyalty, intelligence, and courage, regardless of ethnicity or social standing. Section 11, Genghis Khan, a man, not a monster. Genghis Khan was a product of his time and environment. He was a survivor, a warrior, a unifier, and a ruler who left an indelible mark on history. His story is a complex tapestry of brutality and brilliance, ambition and innovation. 
To understand Genghis Khan, we must look beyond the legends and the myths. We must see him as he was, a man of his time, flawed and extraordinary, who rose from humble beginnings to reshape the world.